What's going on guys? Team Brock here with our first video in a while. We got the kid, triple CP on deck with the runic fur hire sprite deck. Let's get into it. What's going on guys? I'm really, really satisfied with this list. I'm happy to show it to you. Um, just went X1 with, to, with a draw, X10. So I think you guys will be really impressed with what I got cooking up here. XO with a draw. XO with a draw. Yeah, but doesn't the draw go in the middle? No, in the end. Oh, so well, this is this is low, this is scrubby locals. So, anyways, so sta right standard three uh, three Rex, uh, the Dampa, a uh, a beat, and one Rafale. This is like really standard. You really have to just play this lineup. I just play as little as possible. This is like the best card in the deck. Um, it just can it can just facilitate so many plays. You just really want to see it. Um, yeah, this is standard. Don't change anything. Um, and then I play the three fossil digs to search it. Normally I would never play like a card just to search one card, but you want to see this card in every hand, so definitely max out on those. Um, then the one common and the one secret. Um, just targets for Rex because you know he's the deck. And yeah, don't just play this exact lineup, and it'll be good. And moving on to the Sprite engine, I play. Standard, three blue, one jet, one red, one carrot. And then the one uh, starter. Why only one? <laughs> you just search it with this. You really don't want to see, you just want to search it. It's, <coughs> it's pretty straightforward. So yeah, that's six sprites, six for hires. Uh, and then moving on, moving on to the runic engine. You play the two, it's at two, but you play two even if it wasn't. Who's on it? I don't, I don't know. Steel. I don't know them well enough. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the three tip standard. Just You're, the tip. You just play three of everything, <laughs> of the best ones. Um, <laughs> normally you could play more, but this deck is so oh, tight. Beach. This deck is like so tight. Just I'm like, um, <laughs> yes, yeah, just the tip. It's a it's an overused joke. Um, it's still funny, but. Yeah, so normally in a regular in a regular runic deck, you'd probably want to play like a little bit more, but this deck has like no room for like non-engine. Really you're playing like rare. four different engines, so this one's really ugly. It's the rare. Yeah, it's like the worst one. What's that do? <laughs> it like protects a monster from being destroyed. Mm. Um. Anyways, yes, yeah, so that's like that's all the engine. Um, it's like thirty-five cards. Mm. So I, I play nine non-engine cards because this, this deck has no room for it. So I do play a 44 total deck count because I feel like you just need to make room for other cards. Um, so I chose to play the two Ash and two Droll. Just two because this deck can facilitate a, a draw six between the Fountain and the, and, and the uh, Fulgo. So like I really don't want to see multiples of these. And also in my opening hands, I really don't want to like this these to clog it because I want to see my for hires, I want to see my runics. But if you're drawing six, you have a chance of drawing one. Yeah, and I don't want to draw two ever. Yeah, makes so sense. I think these ratios are fine. They may be a little unorthodox, but in this deck, I think it's like the, it's 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 necessary. <laughs> um, and then I play the three droplet and the two TTTs. Um, Standard. These cocks. These. Tommy. Yep. Shout out Tommy. Shout out Wig. <laughs> um, dude's the real wigger. Um, oh, this, yeah, this, this is copyright strike. Taken down. Yeah. Anyways. And then, so, I think these cards are, like, staple this format, especially at this ratio. So I just threw them in there. Um, yeah, like I said, it's 44 cards total. Um, <laughs> commercial break. Let's see that extra tech. Yeah, and that's it. This is the content that our 177 subscribers missed. This is what they this is what they asked for. This, this is what they, what they get. For, yeah. So yeah, onto the extra deck. I uh, play two Hoogan, uh Don't one of them me. one of the Moonin, and then one <laughs> Gary. Is that really his name? <laughs> that's their names, bro. They suck. Gary. Um. Yeah, that's all. Suck. That's all the fusions. Just standard. Like most of what you play in this deck is pretty standard because there's no room to change up anything. Um, and I play the one gigantic and the one uh, ma mannequin cat. I think it's Kawhi. Yeah, these things are mad sick. Um, yeah, definitely play these cards. That's all I play for Ixies. Uh, and then for the Lynx, you got two Donner, two Blitzen. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> um, yeah, these cards are insane. 
this just gets you all, into all your plays and helps you facilitate making him. And if you make him, you can just go off, special the, the Dampa, pop something. Draw three. Draw three. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Then I played the night, small nightmare package. I don't really make it that often, but I had room and it does come up sometimes. So it's a nice toolbox aspect. Um, then I played the one spring. This actually comes up a lot. Um, honestly, it comes up more for, for, for hires than it does for sprites. It's pretty interesting, but it's definitely like very necessary. Um, and then I play the one IP and the one SP. Uh, these cards are just insane. I go into these cute. all the, yeah, I go into these all the time. Um, this card just like is the format. It is the deck. It's just the everything. Um, if you're not if you're not playing this card in today's meta, you're not playing the game. Um, <laughs> you could you could honestly play two. I don't really want. I don't, afford it. I don't really want to buy two. But I mean, this this list will work out pretty good for me. So I'm just gonna stick with this. IP is just amazing. It just facilitates so much. Like, it's really good because you don't have to commit to anything. You can just say make this before going into this, and then say. All right, your move, and then when they do something, then you can go okay, IP into SP, banish one of their cards, um, and then have another disruption afterwards. Yeah. Oh, let's see that side deck. So this has been this is a little subject to change, but this is what I've been working with recently. Um, I played the one Wiz. It's uh, it, it's. What do you like, side that in against? I've it, never I've never seen you do I, that. It's, I typically would side it in against Labyrinth or like something that's like back row heavy, or. You can just side it in for, for time because it helps you gain life points. Seems. Um, doesn't come up much, but it's pretty cool. Um, and then I play the two Panks because it's back. And this card is actually really, really good um, just in general. But for this deck specifically because, well, one, it can it's a really good counter to SP. But for me specifically, I play this because it's just like a... It's like a out to, like, floodgates that really cripple you, like... Um, Summon limit, but mostly like um, uh, anti spell fragrance. Like, this deck is like 90% spells, but like, so like, this is like an, a potential out. 90? And then that plus evenly is just insane. Yeah, this, if you, you can literally go summon this, just go to swing, chain. Like bait out chain, their Omni. Yeah, bait out whatever they have, bait out their SP, and then chain pop whatever it is, and then go, okay, follow up evenly. Yeah, it's insane. Yeah, so this card being back is like huge. Definitely shouldn't be at one. Um, should it be at three? I don't know. But. <laughs> um, so then... Would you side three? Mm, if there was room, I don't think there is. I think, two, <laughs> I think two's a good number. Um, so then I play two bell because it's pretty good. It's, it's pretty generic. It's really good against lab. Um, but it also has other applications. I just think it's generic and good. Then I play the third droll on the side because this card's crazy, this format. Um, I side in against things like... Fire King, Manadium, other combo decks that just like get crippled by this. Um, and then one Nibiru. Just one? Yeah, just one. Why um, one? Well, one, because I don't have a ton of room in this deck. Um, and two, because I play these. Oh, okay. Um, so I can like protect myself from it. That makes and sense. I can also use it if I need it. But like, I feel like this card can just draw, this deck can just draw six. So sometimes like, you'll, I just don't want to clog on a lot of this stuff. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty happy with these ratios. If you disagree, please leave a thumbs down and say in the comments why I suck. Can you even thumbs down videos anymore? Pretty sure. I feel like you can't. You can. Oh. Um, moving on. <laughs> I play two Spellbound. Because the fuck think, is that? I think this card's actually really good. Uh, I think it prevents them from tributing, linking, ixing, etc., etc., etc. Go um, way more in-depth in the extra deck than the main engine. Well, this is the side deck, and it's because this... <laughs> Because there's like no, side. there's like no standard side deck, but like the main deck's very standard. You don't really, it doesn't really need much explanation. Um, For, yeah, just two because, like I said, this card is this deck just draws mad cards. Um, and then the three evenly. This card is just busted. Um, I'll, I'll always play three of that in the side, I think, unless it's like really not relevant. But but yeah, that's everything. Um, any any shout outs? Final words. Yeah, shout out, to, shout out to all my classmates in Machine Shop. Um, looking forward to graduating soon, and I'll see you all on the other side. Shout out 2024. All right, guys. Keep subbing, keep dueling. Brock Chenzo. Brock signing out. Brock Chenzo's profile up next.